Wake up night, broadcasting live from Academy Park World News Headquarters. It is time for Nightline News, the most trusted and revered name in third block news. Good morning, Knights. I am Amu. Today's Monday, March 19th, and it's a day one. And now, Skip, what can we expect from the weather today? Well, thank you for asking Amu do today. There will be a high of 52 degrees with a low of 32, and it is expected to be mostly sunny. And now, Zane, where are some of the important things happening at AP that the students should know about? Well, thank you for asking, Skip. Students will like to say a few words about last week's walkout in your pledge or the 17 things you committed to doing in honor of those who lost their lives in Marjorie Stoneman Douglas tragedy in Florida. If so, stop by the studio or in room 217 after school today to discuss a project the Nightline News team is working on. Congratulations to the AP's Poetic 101 team who made it into the third round in their slam competition debut. Students who stood out in the competition were Diamante Figueroa, Destiny IRA, Antonia Uguchuku, Dede Sale, Lamont Ayers Henry, Trey Whitfield, and Miyatu Kurma. Credit Recovery. The final session of Credit Recovery starts today, Monday, March 19th. If you have any questions, please see your guidance counsel or Mr. Stark at number 101. Junior prom tickets are now on sale and will be on sale until April 6th. Tickets can be purchased after school in room 349 or in the discipline office. They are $60 per ticket. Questions? See Ms. France or Mr. Smith. Seniors, get your $125 senior dues in as soon as possible to Mrs. Kluza. You can pay some now and some later. See Mrs. Kluza with any questions. Students, remember, tutoring is still available every Tuesday. That's tomorrow from 215 to 315 in room 220. And that here is Imani with your sports and club announcements. Thank you, Zane. The AP Boys tennis team opens their 2018 season today with Del Val League match at Glen Mills this afternoon. Listen to the announcements for dismissal. The bus will depart from behind the auxiliary gym. Girls Varsity and JV softball play Pencrest away. Game starts at 345. And Girls Varsity and JV lacrosse play Upper Derby at home. Varsity at 345 and JV at 445. Clubs. Community Garden Club will meet in room 210 after school today. Didding Club, room 247. Darts Club, room 345. Zuma Club, the gym. Board Games Club, Room 330, Chess Club, Room 206, Poetry Club, Room 241, Photography Club, Room 218, Running Club, Room 343, Anime Club, Room 346, Running Olympic Slash Books Club, The Library, Tech Crew, Room 217, otherwise known as The Studio. And now, Nala News President Zane and Amadou with today's Women History Month trivia question. Thank you, I'm Imani. Friday's Women History Month trivia question was, what is the name of the woman who was credited with creating the phrase Me Too? In 2006, on her MySpace social media account, over a decade prior to Alyssa Milano popularizing it on Twitter, the answer is Toronto Burke. In 1996, when Burke was a youth camp director, a young girl came to her and opened up about the ways her mother-boyfriend had been abusing her. After five minutes of listening, Burke was so devastated by the girl's story that she requested she seek help from another counselor. Young, overwhelmed, and unable to help, Burke later said in an interview, I couldn't help her release her shame or impress upon her that nothing that happened to her was her fault. I could not find the strength to say out loud the words that were ringing in my head over and over again as she tried to tell me what she had endured. I watched her walk away from me as she tried to recapture her secrets and tuck them back into their hiding place. I watched her put her mask back on and go back into the world like she was all alone, and I couldn't even bring myself to whisper. Me too. The whisper of Me Too had recently grown into a highly publicized and transformative nationwide movement. The hashtag caught fire when actress Alyssa Milano tweeted Me Too with a call out to victims writing on Twitter, so we might give people a sense of magnitude of the problem. Toronto Burke has since gone on to become program director for Brooklyn-based Girls for Gender Equity. Its goal is to empower young women of color. She recently stated in an interview, it is not about a viral campaign for me. It's about a movement that started in the deepest, darkest place in my soul. Today's Women History Month trivia question is, who was the female lawyer who worked for equal rights and suffrage, was a co-founder of the ACLU in 1910, 
a co-editor of the Radical Arts and Politics magazine, The Liberator, and her write the Equal Rights Amendment. Again, who was the female lawyer who worked for Equal Rights and Suffrage, was a co-founder of the ACLU in 1910, a co-editor of the Radical Arts and Politics magazine, The Liberator, and helped write the Equal Rights Amendment. Teachers, email all answers, Ms. Artmont. From our online news, I'm Amadou. I'm Imani. I'm Skit. And I'm Zane. Have a great day. Keep those electronics out of sight and those two eyes visible. Remember, author Alice Walker once said, the most common way people give up their power is by thinking they don't have any. Happy Human History Month, Evie.